Hey there folks, it's February 7th, uh, 2010, and uh, I'm here hanging out underneath some of my palm trees. And um, these ones here I planted probably uh, 10 or 12 years ago from seedlings. And these ones here are actually growing under a native maple tree, and they are 100% neglected. And uh, if you grow them in the shade, which this is in the summertime, it doesn't get much sun because the leaves are on that big maple tree. They uh, get longer petioles, they stretch for the light, but they're always nice deep green. And I have seedlings growing all through this garden here that have um, naturalized from just seed I've chucked around. But uh, there's a nice grouping here, and when you do group trachycarpus palms, they give you a lot more tropical effect. So even on a cool winter day, and I don't know if it's that cool right now, it's probably about 9 degrees Celsius, 9.5 degrees Celsius, um, they give you a really nice... Uh, sort of warm feeling when you look out your window or you step out your back door. Um, even on the coolest winter days, these, these things look nice. And uh, you can see it does really look tropical when they're bunched together. So some people prefer to plant them as an individual, but individual specimens. But uh, I say three or more in a clump always makes the, uh, makes the garden look a little bit more tropical. And when these seedlings grow up, there's going to be a lot more palms in here too. I even have a hybrid. One of the hybrids in here, Trachycarpus fortuni, hybrid, cross between a waggy. You can see the fronds are a little bit more tighter than that one there. So, anyway, it's a good mixture of palms, and they seem to be thriving quite well. You can see some of the seedlings underneath the understory here. Palm trees everywhere. Like I say before. In previous videos, I've lost count of how many palm trees I actually have. Native Arbutus tree there. Eucalyptus tree as well, growing up over the palms.